Hi. I'm just sipping on some tea in my Tardis mug. This might come as a surprise, but square mugs are not actually very useful for drinking. I'm currently in London, staying in Marion's room, and I may have bought a ukulele. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. I kind of spend the whole weekend running around the city with Levi and Marion. And one of my favorite things to do here is go to one of the museums. You might not know this, but most of the museums in London are actually free, which is wonderful because it means that you don't have to spend five hours in there to feel like you've gotten your money's worth. We decided to go to the Science Museum. I'd never been there before, but the Science Museum has some of my favorite things in the world. We just kind of wandered around the museum enjoying the flashy lights and all the experiments. We might have done some dancing, but the best thing that day happened while we were waiting for an elevator. We saw a sign pointing towards something called the Listening Post. Now, the Listening Post is a very special work of art by Mark Hansen and Ben Rubin. What they've tried to do is imagine what it would sound like and feel like if you could experience the internet. There was a dark room with a wall filled with these tiny screens and all of those were connected to live chat rooms and I think there were about a hundred thousand people taken into account. It's really difficult to describe so I think I'll just show you. quite a while just watching the letters roll by. And one of the reasons why it was so powerful was that I was there with friends who I'd met through the internet. So if you ever have the opportunity to go to the Science Museum, definitely go and hang out in the listening post. If you've ever been to London, I would love to know what your favorite museum or piece of art is. And even if you don't like museums, I would love to know what you thought of the listening post. Do we? We're at... No, we're in future, and in the future we're taking a nap. 